Intel Arc graphics integrated into mobile laptop processors and AI built in at the hardware level are just some of the cool things we saw at the Intel Tech Tour in Malaysia. So a couple weeks ago, Intel invited me to Malaysia to learn about the new Meteor Lake launch as well as tour a few of their fabs. I had an awesome time traveling internationally for the first time, meeting up with some fellow creators and learning more about Intel's new releases. So let's first talk about my favorite part of the entire trip, hands down, the Intel Fab Tours. Halfway into a presentation, we were all guided into a meeting room where we all just sat around waiting for approval to join traditional media on the Fab Tour. Long story short, the higher ups in Malaysia pulled some strings and huge shout out to them because we were able to don full bunny suits and tour the Intel Fabs. So if you're not familiar with what an Intel Fab or fabrication is, it's essentially a semiconductor factory that manufactures and tests chips that go inside computers. On the Fab Tours, we saw every single step of the CPU manufacturing process all starting with the amber rooms. We walked along these yellow lit rooms designed that way to prevent UV exposure and we saw silicon wafers suspended in mylar film cut with diamond edge saws and blasted with water to prevent overheating. The silicon was then blasted with UV and needles and vacuums were used to pull the individual dyes out. The silicon dyes were then epoxied onto substrates and thermal interface material was applied on top of the dyes. And a couple common examples of thermal interface material are thermal paste and liquid metal. After thermal interface material is applied, an integrated heat spreader is pressed onto the CPU, followed by an extensive burn-in stress testing process. Touring the fabs and seeing the entire process behind the scenes was such a jaw-dropping experience. And another really cool thing I saw was the AGV robots they use, which sort inventory with level 8 automation they essentially roamed the floors of the fab with this really catchy musical chime and I was just thinking they look like they're pulled straight out of a dystopian movie. The fab tours were just mind blowing and I'd consider this a once in a lifetime opportunity. If only I could have brought my camera in there and filmed and maybe also kept the bunny suits. Not only did we go in the fab tours, we also saw firsthand Intel's new Meteor Lake launch. With the new Intel Core mobile processors, the biggest thing that pops up is disaggregation, where a single monolithic die is separated into four separate tiles consisting of the compute tile, the SOC tile, the GPU tile, and the IO tile. The compute tile features new P-Core and E-Core microarchitecture. The SOC tile features low power Island E-Cores as well as the new AI engine, the NPU. Intel has teamed up with Microsoft and Adobe to optimize the NPU so that we can use AI in practical applications. Some areas where AI can be practically used are for generating summaries of news, business insights and notes, video editing, transcribing, and even coding. I'd really love to get my hands on a laptop featuring a Meteor Lake CPU and see how useful AI on hardware level is on an everyday basis. The GPU tile now features integrated Intel Arc graphics and with that comes exclusive Intel Arc features like Intel XESS. And I'm just so excited for ray tracing in a portable laptop form factor. The integrated Intel Arc graphics should also provide up to two times performance per watt. And I'm just so hyped to test this out when we get our hands on a laptop. And last but not least is the IO tile which features PCIe 5 support. Meteor Lake processors will also come with Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7 support, as well as support for 8K HDR, HDMI 2.1, and DisplayPort 2.1. Rounding this all up is power efficiency and systems featuring Meteor Lake CPUs. But first, let's hear from the Vice President of Platform and Systems with the Client Computing Group at Intel. So I ran into Gokul outside the presentation rooms, and I want to thank him again for spending a few minutes to share some exciting insights behind the system technologies of Meteor Lake. We're over here at the Intel Tech Tour Malaysia. Uh, with Gokul. Please introduce yourself. Hey, uh, glad to be here. I'm Gokul Subramanian, uh, Client Computing Group, uh, part of Client Platform and Systems. What was, in your opinion, the most interesting part of working on Intel Meteor Lake? Um, everything. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the first silicon that brings uh, AI yeah. uh, at scale on PCs. If you think about it, it's the first time all of us are going to be using uh, devices that actually has AI. AI has been in the cloud but knowing that it's going to influence and you're going to be able to use it at this device level that you own and you work on yeah. is super exciting. Exactly. And uh, the keywords that you mentioned, cool, quiet, and performant, right? So could you explain a couple more about that? So, sure. Um, if you think about it, um, user experiences are changing quite a bit dramatically 
the kind of workloads, the kind of usages people are doing in the last three years has become much more different than what it was before. Mm -hmm. The transformation is bigger. Uh, people are working uh, on various kinds of things like entertainment, creation, work-related, education, but they're doing it in very different locations. They're doing it at home, they're doing it uh, uh, when they're sleeping, on their couch, they're doing it in public spaces. Mm -hmm. um, work from home, hybrid work is another example. So what's that, what that has done is a variety of different workloads, mm -hmm. um, a lot of performance needed, yeah. but they also want the system to be really temperature-wise cool, mm -hmm. noise-wise really quiet, yeah. and give them the performance, but still be thin and light. Exactly, the perfect combination, especially yes. for a laptop application. So my last question, what did you study in school to, to get to your position? Oh, that's a great question. So I, um, I, I did my bachelor's uh, in engineering. I did it in electronics and communication. Mm -hmm. I did my master's in uh, computer science and engineering. Mm -hmm. Of course, I started my PhD, but I didn't complete. It's a different story. Yeah. Uh, those, you know, education was really uh, useful mm -hmm. for me. And I, I'm one of those guys who went through that traditional path of uh, doing the kind of education I got and same path that I took in uh, yeah. at work. So like Gokul said, the emphasis on cool, quiet, and performance systems with new reference vapor chambers, increased optimization, and improved power efficiency should mean significantly lower power draw and thermals. Speaking of power efficiency, Intel Thread Director will now prioritize low power island E-cores, then the E-cores, followed by P-cores, to greatly reduce power consumption, temperatures, and noise, especially when it comes to lighter background tasks. And by putting more of an emphasis on power efficiency, this should also improve battery life, though this will vary system to system. So that was a lot of information on the new Intel Core mobile processors codenamed Meteor Lake. I learned so much from Intel CPU architects as well as on the fab tours where I got to traverse the floors and explore every part of the CPU making process. Thank you again to Intel for inviting me on the Intel tech tour in Malaysia. I've learned more on this trip than in any college class and thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.